What's going on, Dolphins fans? Jacob here, Miami Dolphins Syndicate, and the Dolphins just made another signing, Tyler Croft, tight end. He's already been in the AFC East twice with the Bills and the Jets. He's also made stays with the Cincinnati Bengals and San Francisco 49ers, where last year he got the NFC Championship. And now he joins the Miami Dolphins tight end core, which sees him join Eric Saubert, who's also come over in free agency, Elijah Higgins, which just came in during the draft, as well as Tanner Connor, and Derma Smythe coming over from last season, who's already here. So the Dolphins tight end core, to put it kindly, is not the strongest suit of the team. And last year with Mike Isicki, we proved that it wasn't something that it needed to be strong. And I very much expected us to come into this offseason and attack tight end very, very lightly, I, I was like, if we can bring in a one or two year guy that can just do the job, be a bigger body option, somebody to go to in the red zone, uh, somebody to hit in the middle of the field when you just need you know, some short yardage. I wasn't expecting us to go out and do like the Giants did, get Darren Waller, or like the Bills did and use their first round pick on a tight end. That I never thought was very realistic when the Dolphins offense clearly isn't reliant on a top tight end and... To put it kindly, that's not what Tyler Conf uh, Croft is. He is not a top tight end. Uh, when you look at his years, you know he's been in the league now, it looks like eight years. The best season came back in 2017 with Cincinnati, where he had 404 yards, did have seven touchdowns. So he is, a, again, a bigger body option. Sorry, I needed to close that up a little bit. He is a bigger body option that the Dolphins can go to uh, in the red zone and fill a space, do a job. Uh, he is a little bigger, six foot six, 250 pounds, so... He is the definition of a big body target. Uh, maybe, Hopefully he does well in the blocking game. You see the highlights here, uh, mostly with the Jets and the Bills. That's where we've seen him most recently, last year with the 49ers. Uh, not an exciting signing. Not a signing that is going to put the Dolphins over the top. But it was definitely a position of weakness on the team and, and still continues to be weakness of the team. I'm very interested to see who ends up emerging as a tight end one in this offense. Now, Derma Smythe, you could argue, is the best tight end on the team, but that is because of what he does away from just catching the ball. He's an excellent blocker and eventually sometimes does go out and run routes, but he's never going to be a number one option, even in his own position group. But the role he does, he does superbly. We need somebody who can go out, make catches, make some athletic plays, and Eric Saubert's a little athletic, Elijah Higgins... Kerferding from wide receiver to tight end is somebody who I actually have hope for. If if anybody from this group is going to emerge as the tight end one, I hope it's Elijah Higgins. I hope he ends up working out as the Miami Dolphins tight end. And these other guys are either cut candidates or just file out the rest of the roster. Right now, if I had to put together my, my depth chart for the Dolphins, I think it would go Eric Saubert, Durham Smythe, Tyler Croft and Elijah Higgins fighting for three and four, and then Tanner Connor rounding at five. Uh, I know one of you guys commented yesterday about Tanner Connor. Uh, he saying he is definitely going to make the team, and I just simply don't think that's the case. Uh, his few appearances he saw last year, he did not in any in any way give any sort of confidence for this team that he should be a tight end getting any regular minutes. And I I'd be surprised to see him make the team, uh, but our our three or four tight ends is probably going to be. Elijah Higgins, Croft now that we bring in, Saubert, Durham Smythe, move that around. Is this a sign signing that in any way excites you, or are you somebody that is a fan of a team that he's come from? Are you a 49ers fan watching him last year come over? I know he only had like four catchers or something like that. Are you a Bengals fan that saw him catch 400 yards and seven touchdowns? Let us know down below if you have any sort of confidence in a signing by the Miami Dolphins. We'll see if there's any more to come. Very hopeful to see the Dolphins hopefully stack out the offensive line, which is something that has not been addressed hardly at all outside of Dan Feeney. Uh, so there's still some moves that the Dolphins can make, but today, Tyler Croft, 6'6", 250 pound tight end, the definition of a big body coming over to the Miami Dolphins. Let me know down below what you think of this signing. Make sure to like, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody.